Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. Um, my name is Liana and this video is going to be different from my channel. Um, but I'm kind of slowly morphing my channel into something away from makeup. Only because I'm not that obsessed with makeup as I was before. But anyways, this video is going to be a vegan Trader Joe's food haul. I guess you can call it. It's just my um, the shopping that I did today at Trader Joe's. And this should last me about a week, a week and a half to two weeks if I'm very like minimal with what I'm eating. But I thought I'd share it with you guys because I recently turned vegan. Um, I want to say in January just to give it like a really definitive like time. And so it's been about what three months of pure veganism. Like no eating of anything. Um, obviously with animal products in it or byproducts. Um, just using things that are cruelty free and vegan. So for example like hair products, um, even like the dish, the dish soap that we use, like skincare, everything, just using everything vegan. Um, I do want to say that if you do see something in my videos like going forward that isn't vegan, it's because I've already had it so I don't feel like like throwing everything out, that's a waste of money. Um, so I'm, I am going to try to use up what I have and then going forward I'll try to be, I'll be more um, mindful of buying only vegan products. So anyways, to the food haul. So, I spent $94.70 on 33 items. So, that is a lot of money, but at the same time, for 33 items, that's pretty damn good. Because the supermarkets around my way are hella expensive. Like, you get maybe 10 things, and you're already at, like, 90 bucks. So, for $33, that's pretty good. So, this is what I got. I got the Trader Joe's Organic Baby Spinach. And I'll put the time, like, the, uh, the time. I'll put the amount of the why can I talk the price of it somewhere in this video but organic baby spinach um I need to start eating more greens because as a vegan I I eat a lot of processed foods and that's really bad like I don't eat what I should so this um I got the Trader Joe's this is Trader Jose's that's funny avocados number guacamole and this just says let's party arriba and it's going to April 15th, so that's that. It brings two of them, so that's a, that's really good. I go through them pretty fast. Then I got the Trader Joe's Vegetable Spring Rolls, and this has kale, edamame, mushrooms, and shredded tofu. So that's his dog. If you hear like weird things, that's my dog. She's chasing her tail. I'm going nuts. I got the Trader Joe's Hash Browns. There is an app called um, Is It Vegan that I recommend everyone download on their phone and that's literally what I use when I grocery shop if anything like the ingredients might look like hmm this looks vegan but I don't know what this one ingredient is or I don't know what these two ingredients are or whatever um it'll actually tell you like it's definitely vegetarian and then it'll break it down by like ingredients that are vegetarian ingredients that are normally vegan and then what makes it non-vegan or non-vegetarian so definitely get that it is a vegan um and it's a free app I if there's like an upgrade for it that you have to pay for I've definitely not done that I just use the regular <laughs> free app then I got veggie burgers because I love veggie burgers and this these are the Dr. Prager's California Veggie Burgers and it has carrots, peas, broccoli, and spinach in it. And it's good and it brings four of them. So that. I got the organic low sodium vegetable broth. So actually is this vegan? Yeah, this is vegan. Sorry, I'm just double double checking. Because I know I go to Whole Foods sometimes and I just want to make a, like what I get in Whole Foods, but they are expensive. Like the things that I like to get from them, I'm normally at like 90 bucks and it's not even half of what I get here. Um, and I recently bought a vegan version of this. Like it says like vegan and that was from them. I got two onions, a yellow one and a purple one. So this, okay, this is the Trader Joe's Vegan Kale, Cashew, and Basil Pesto. And I actually also got one from Trader Joe's. And that one is like nine bucks. The one I got from, sorry, not Trader Joe's, Whole Foods. The one I got from Whole Foods is like nine dollars. And this one is, where are you? A kale Pesto, $3.69. $3.69 for this. And over there, it's literally almost nine bucks. So, what? Then I got the seasoning because I saw, I think it was High Carb Hannah talk about this, and I 
wanted to try it. So this is the um, everything but the bagel sesame seasoning blend with sea salt, garlic, and onion. My dog. And the ingredients are sesame seeds, sea salt flakes, dried minced garlic, dried minced onion, black sesame seeds, and poppy seeds. So I don't know what I'm going to use it for yet, but I'll find a reason to use it. So that's that. Oops. Then I got three limes lemon limes okay i always get confused growing up i always thought that yellow the yellow one of these were limes and these were lemons and then it blew my mind when i found out that it was reversed so these are limes i don't know why i always thought that but i got avocado um i got these which are the organic corn chip dippers and at first i was like oh man are these vegan because it doesn't say it anymore it doesn't have the v on there and i was just i love these but i didn't know and they are so the ingredients are organic corn organic sunflower oil sea, sea salt that's it so love these and i like use, eating these with um hummus or the guacamole it's amazing Next up, we got roasted and salted whole cashews. The nuts there um, are expensive, I'm not gonna lie. But they are less expensive than whole foods still. So these roasted and salted whole cashews, let me see, how much are you? Whole cashews, $7.99. They're both $7.99. So I got these and then I got the raw almonds. I got these from um whole foods this is just their whole foods california almonds and these were 12 freaking dollars i didn't know they were that much because they didn't have a price on them 12 freaking dollars i got sriracha sriracha <laughs> sriracha um i've never used the i've never like tasted this but apparently I have a vegan cookbook that I want to start trying out the stuff that they have, the recipes, and one of them calls for sriracha, so I want to try it. I hope it's not too spicy because I'm not really good with really spicy stuff. I got um, extra olive oil, extra virgin olive oil because we ran out, so I had to get another one. And this isn't that expensive, actually. $5.49. I, they had grapeseed oil for like three, I think it was maybe maximum $5, and I had just bought a bottle from Whole Foods for $12. Mind blown. I should definitely just go to freaking Trader Joe's next time. Then I bought mandarins because I love mandarins. Next bag. <laughs> Funny, I bought a lot of stuff for that amount. Um, I have here. Oh, this is for my dog. But it's just a mint of breath bones. Oh, you can't see. This is it. <laughs> mint of breath bones. These were kind of expensive. They were $5.99. She likes these. I'll show you guys. She likes these from Whole Foods. But these are really expensive. I think they're like 13 bucks or 15 bucks. She likes these um, bioactive fresh mouth ones and they're just like little, she sees them so she's jumping right now. They're just these little bones and they have like a place where you can put, um, I'll show you. If you want to put maybe like pumpkin in there, if they're having like a bad tummy day or something, like you got a scoop here and then you can put a little treat in there as well. She goes nuts for them. She's watching me right now very strictly. But I'm not gonna get ready. But I also got these for her. And these, um, they have a whole bunch of not like really good stuff. Roga, I'll give you one later, okay? You gotta be a good girl. So these just have like, what do they have? Um, dried parsley, dried fennel, dried dill, oil of peppermint, chlorophyll, vegetable glycerin, natural chicken flavor, rice flour, water. A whole bunch of stuff for dogs. So hopefully she likes those. Um, I got organic blue agave sweetener um it's supposed to be really good it's, it's supposed to kind of be the same as maple syrup but obviously without being maple syrup it's supposed to be really sweet so i want to try this because i want to make some uh banana pancakes that i saw in the book that i'm trying to make a recipe from or recipes i got organic black beans these are yeah organic black beans they just have black beans water and sea salt because i know some beans come with like um a like a, a meat byproduct and i don't want that obviously 
I got quinoa, the organic sprouted tricolor quinoa. I haven't tried these. I hope these taste as good as the tricolored ones because I wanted those, but those are sold out. My love. Next, I got the olive oil spray. I don't like this one, I'm not gonna lie. I wanted the Pam one, but Trader Joe's obviously doesn't have like Pam and like things of that nature. And around here, um, around my house, the Pam is expensive, it's like six bucks. I'm like six bucks for spray olive oil, I'm not doing it. So this one was $2.99, so bye, I'll just do that. Then I got these roasted plantain chips and these just have plantain sunflower oil and salt and i love these i love these with hummus and then the last bag won't bore you guys too long i got has organics cut and peeled carrots these are really thick um but weirdly enough i eat these with mustard i just love that like bitter taste with them i don't know if that's how i like it I got the almond mozzarella, sh well, almond mozzarella style shreds. It's a cheese alternative. It says 99% lactose free. What? Okay. I actually cannot eat these. It says Parmesan cheese, pastured, pasteurized milk, cheese culture, salt, and enzymes. Damn, I should have seen that before. I bought it. The almond mozzarella style shreds. So you can eat them, but I can't. Then I got grilled asparagus. I love eating asparagus with um, quinoa, brown rice, or pasta. Love that. I got some broccoli florets because I really need to start eating these, like for real, me and my husband. So broccoli florets, florets, florets. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite baked tofu and this is the uh, Trader Joe's organic baked tofu teriyaki flavor I got some from Whole Foods but it does it has no flavor like it is flavorless and I thought it was these but it isn't so a little upset but whatever I'm gonna eat the other ones because I have them here I got these multi-grain blend with vegetables and it's just this and the last thing that I got were frozen strawberries because I heard I forgot where I read it, but apparently like frozen like fruit is better, I guess like long like in the long run than if you buy them in tubs and stuff. So I don't know, but I'm gonna try it out and see. Because I have a uh, vegan yogurt that I really wanna chop them. I love chopping up like fruit in it, putting that in there with some granola, some almonds. If I have them chopping that up, putting it in there, oh it's so good. So yeah, that was everything that I purchased. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to see any more videos, like vegan related videos, please leave a comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next one.